Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. What did Jesus mean when he said, if I be lifted up? Did it mean that I'm going to stand upon a, a bench or a stool? Is that what it means when Jesus said, when I be lifted up? No. When I be lifted up on the cross, my hands are nailed to the cross. My back is whipped. My feet have been nailed to the tree. That's what Jesus meant when he said, when I be lifted up. When I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. If the name of Jesus is lifted up, men will be drawn unto him. The apostles went from house to house teaching and preaching Jesus Christ. Not just obeying a bunch of rules, but accepting Jesus Christ as a person. In order to be saved, Jesus has to live inside of you. And if Jesus lives inside of you, then God will accept you. Because God will accept His Son, and His Son lives inside of you. So how do we live for God? How do we obey the Bible? By accepting Jesus Christ into our life. That's the only way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father except through me. I am the door. If any man in a ran, he shall be saved. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. If any man abide in me, and I in him, he shall bear much fruit. But without me, you can't do anything. You cannot go to heaven without Jesus in your life. Jesus has to live inside of you. It's not a matter of just stop sinning. That's not the gospel. I went to five fewer parties this week. That's not the gospel. Instead of robbing five banks, I only robbed one bank. That's not the gospel. That's not salvation. Salvation is inviting Christ into your life. And when Christ is in your life, everything will change. I'm not crazy. One day, I accepted Jesus into my life. I'm not crazy. I'm a Christian. It sounds like I'm crazy, but I'm really saved. I love God. That's why I'm here today to tell you that one day Jesus is coming again to this world. And he's going to rapture his people and take them to heaven. I'm telling you right now, I'm not crazy. I'm a Christian. There's a difference. Crazy people don't believe in Jesus. They walk and think everything's going to be okay. But it's not. It's not okay not to believe in Jesus Christ. I'm not going to let people walk through this world and think it's okay not to be a Christian. It's not okay. To not be a Christian means to be lost for eternity. Eternity is not the weekend. No one dies and goes to hell for the weekend. It's forever and forever and forever. Not a million. Not a million. Not a quintillion. And you mathematicians, help me out. Not a quintillion. 
Not a sextillion. Oh, we always want to talk about that. But I'm not here to condemn people for their sin. Jesus said, I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. I didn't come to give you judgment. I came to give you mercy and salvation. That's the good news. The good news is mercy and salvation. People need to be saved. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. It's not an option of whether or not I can be saved. I have to be saved. There's no other way. There's no other truth. There's no other life. And Jesus came to give you life. Jesus did not come to make bad people good. He came to make dead people live. It's not a matter of being good. It's a matter of having life. That's what it's all about. I can become a better person, but that doesn't make me saved. I can stop sinning, but that doesn't make me saved. I can stop committing fornication, but that doesn't make me saved. I can go feed hungry people, that doesn't make me saved. There's nothing spiritual that happens to a person that stops sinning. Nothing spiritual happens. Nothing at all. If you feed hungry people, nothing spiritual happens. But if you accept Jesus, you're changed. And everything becomes different. Everything. I mean, everything. Uh, some things, everything becomes different. I'm a new creature now. I've been changed. I've been born again by Jesus. I'm a new person. I'm not the same person that I used to be. Something happened to me. Jesus came into my life. Everything changed. It's not funny. It's real. It's true. I'm not here to judge people. I'm here to tell them that Jesus loves them. That's what Jesus wants you to know. He doesn't want to throw you into hell. He loves you. That's why he went to the cross. That's why he was pierced. That's why the nails were driven into his head. Because he loves you. That's the reason. That is the only reason why. God loves sinners. He loves homosexuals and lesbians. He loves people that commit fornication, get drunk. God loves them because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He loves you. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have, shall have everlasting life. They shall not perish. That means they won't go to hell. They will not die because they're alive in Christ. They didn't just become a better person. They became a Christian. And a Christian loves God. A Christian loves God. And now they're a new person. They're not the same person as they used to be. They're different. They're changed. They've been born again by the Holy Ghost. Everything has changed. What happens if I fall? You say, oh God, will God hate me now? No. Because God didn't hate you when you were living that way before. How much more will he love you now that you're a member of his family, a member of his flesh, and a member of his bones? How much more will Jesus love you now that you're a member of his family now? That you've been born again. And Jesus loves you. And he wants to save you. But he warned us that he's coming again. He warned us that he's coming again. He's coming in the same manner that brings you up. He ascended up to heaven. And he promised that he's going to come back. He promised that he's going to come back to earth. 
And when he comes back to the earth, the Bible says he will judge the world in righteousness. I didn't forget about the Home Depot. But God said he'll judge the world in righteousness oh, okay. by who? Sure. Okay. Sure. By the Thank man you. that he hath appointed. Right. Not a preacher. I know why not I the president, for this trip. not the uh, Senate, and it was not the White House, stuff. not even not God's really house, but Jesus! First day, I mean, God will judge the world by Jesus, Jesus. because... Yeah. Have you ever seen a doctor God. about it? Because no. uh, that's one of the most important things. He has appointed a day well, of judgment, but today is the day of mercy. Paul Someone said, now is the day no. of salvation. Doesn't help much, huh? Now is the day no, if you want to be saved. Now is the day if you want to know Jesus as your Lord. Yeah, now is the day. Now, now is the day to know God. Now is the day to be born again by the Spirit of God. I'm telling you, I'm not crazy. I'm a Christian. I was born again by the Spirit of God. Everything has changed. They told him he couldn't sing rock anymore. Or crazy. He'd destroy his voice because he's singing. I'm not crazy. All right. <laughs> like that real high stuff. You know, scream. He died on the voice. cross so that we could be saved. He got so bad. If you think I'm crazy, then he laugh. Was, he was I don't like the word instead of singing. I don't care about a lot of people who played this military based one. And he's doing that song. It's a really wicked God is top God song. It's called Push. And God is mercy. He's singing it like If you want to laugh, up, that's fine. But Jesus still loves. my world. Word. He came to bring around. the world light. <laughs> I ain't asking for much. He came to bring the I'm world love. <laughs> he wants you to walk He's in light, Christian not now. in darkness. He preaches it. He you, sings about in it. In a dark room, you he know not. A and what you stumble. That's a beautiful you ministry. Fall, fall, I can't see. Well, Jesus <laughs> doesn't want you to trip and fall and hurt yourself. Falling, I guess. He wants you to have so light. Go out. He wants you to have <laughs> light. And he wants yeah, you to have I, I, love. I'm beginning to come to the conclusion that That's some what people Jesus wants you to have. really call to go out as much he as He wants you to have love. Because the only he people have love. Love. Is God is love. love. God is love. Like God is power. forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> he commanded that the apostles preach you know? forgiveness I mean, and remission of sins in all nations. Why are you sending me to do that? You know what I mean? Because he hates people? No! Because God loves you. <laughs> even if you're living in sin, even he still me, loves you. I remember two of your objections. Even if you don't even love him, <laughs> he loves you. Two, I don't know. God the, committed the his own. Objection? What's that? God, God metaphysical, committed metaphysical, his love toward us, the Bible says. Yeah, see, I forgot those two. Because when while we were uh, yet but I, I sinners. this guy over here, the one about when we were uh, yet living the racism in sin, Darwin, I also talked about, Christ uh, died for us. Hallelujah! What if I become a Christian uh, and then I stumble? It's and probably fall? causing effect. There's another it's argument about that. Does that mean God because gives up on me? No! God wants to receive me! <laughs> God wants to keep me! Right. God right. wants to forgive me of all of my sins! The Bible says if you confess your sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. What if I've what if I've committed a sin against God Almighty? Confess your sin. He's faithful and he's just. God is a faithful and a just God. A God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. God does all things right. That's why he sent Jesus into this world. So he could take the sins upon himself. So that we wouldn't be judged for the sins that we committed. Because I can't keep the Bible. I never have been able to fully keep the Bible. God has to help me. And God will help you too. God will help you keep the word of God today. If Jesus is living inside of you, you'll have life. You'll have eternal life. And Jesus said, this is the living water that I can give them. I'll even give them water to drink. I'll give them water to drink so they can have the living water. So they can be refreshed. By God, they can be fresh, refreshed by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God gives us, and this is like a fountain of living water. A fountain of living water. That's what Jesus gives us. He doesn't just give us a drink of water. He gives us the whole river, bro. The whole river living inside of us. That's the Holy Ghost. That is the Holy Ghost. I'm not crazy. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost.
Holy Ghost. That's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. A person thinks I'm crazy was it because I love Jesus. Isn't that crazy? I think they're crazy for thinking that I'm crazy because I love Jesus. I'm not here to blast people for their sin. I'm here to tell them that Jesus loves them and wants to save them. And if you'll humble yourself before him, he will save you today. And you will have a new life. You will have a new body. Everything will be changed. And you'll be seated in heavenly places with Jesus. You'll be seated in heavenly places. Isn't that awesome? I can go to heaven because why? Because I started to keep the Bible? No. I can go to heaven. Why? Because I came up, became a better person? No. I can go to heaven because of who lives inside of me. That's why I can go to heaven. Because Jesus lives inside of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen from the amen corner, brother? Amen. Because Jesus lives inside of me. Am I crazy? No. No. Jesus lives inside of me. You think, how in the world could Jesus live inside of you? He's the eternal. He's the first and the last, the beginning and the end. It's a mystery. I can't explain it. But I love it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love the fact that Jesus lives in my life. And I want Jesus to live in your life too. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus lives inside of me. And I want Jesus to live inside of you. Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yay, not I. I am not living anymore. Jesus is living inside of me. Hallelujah. I'm saved because Jesus lives inside of me. The body is dead because of sin. The spirit, which is Jesus, is alive because of righteousness. Because Jesus was the righteous man that God appointed to come into the world and die on the cross. Hallelujah. He died on the cross so that I could have his righteousness imputed unto me so that I could be right because Jesus was right. Hallelujah. Not because of me. Hallelujah. I'm going to heaven because of Jesus. I'm not going to heaven because I'm out here preaching today or because I feed the poor. That's not why I'm going to heaven. I'm not going to heaven because I'm out here preaching to you and helping you. That's not why I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven because his hands and his feet were nailed to the cross. That's why I'm going to heaven. Because Jesus' is back was striped. Because the blood ran down. Because of his blood shed for the remission of the sins of many. Because his blood was shed for all the remission of sins for all the world. He didn't die for just my sins only. He died for the sins of the whole world. God so loved the world. San Diego State, he loves you. If this was North America, God loved North America. If this was Asia, God loved Asia. And he wants the Asian people to live. If this is Australia, then God wants everyone in Australia to repent. If this is Africa, then God wants everyone in Africa to repent. If this is Europe, then God wants everyone in Europe to repent. If this is South America, then God wants everyone in South America to repent. And all the scientists in Antarctica, he wants them to repent too. Glory! Wake up! Glory to God in the highest! God has given us great tidings and good joy. We're born at the year of this day in the city of David as a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Born unto you is a Savior. A Savior that will come into the world. And the Bible says he will save his people from their sins. Sins will not destroy them. And they will not have the power over Jesus. And they won't have the power over you. As long as Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, is living within your life. Today, invite Jesus into your life. Invite Jesus in your life. Don't just stop sinning. 
Don't just stop going to the bars. Don't just start feeding the hungry. Don't just stop smoking weed. That's not the gospel. That's not salvation. I could stop smoking weed. That wouldn't make me saved. I could stop doing heroin. That don't make me saved. What makes me saved is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, lives in me. I've been born again. I've been filled with the Holy Ghost. Everything has changed. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. That's the reason why I'm going to heaven. That's the reason why I'm seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus the Lord. I have become one of the sons of God. Am I crazy because I became one of the sons of God? No. Because the Bible says he will bring many sons unto glory. And now I've become a child of God, bro. I'm not even crazy. I'm serious. I did. I believe you, man. I became one of the children of God. Now I'm not a children of, child of the devil. I'm a child of God. I know God now. Isn't that awesome? I'm a part of his family now. Oh, it's, that's the greatest thing ever. Because Jesus now gives me favor like he gave Jesus favor, bro. He gave me favor like he gives favor to Jesus. Because I'm part of his family. And the Holy Ghost lives inside of me now. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Spirit lives inside of me. And transformed me into the image of Jesus. Hallelujah, bro. Thank you for being here. Bless you.